Okay, so in this lab, we are looking at Sparta. And so if we're dealing with a newer version of Kali, uh, it should be here. And we can do that by looking at application, information gathering, and we're looking to see if Sparta is in here. It is. However, I want to be starting my Sparta from the command line. And all you have to do is type Sparta. So we need to add some host once our beta starts. So to do that, we can actually click here to add our scope. We could do a specific range by typing in our ranges through our end ranges, or we could do a slash notation. So in this example, I'm going to do my 192.168.10.0 network. I'm going to do it with a slash 24. And it will go through several stages. And we'll see that our hosts will start populating. And the ones that we really care about are ones that we can actually find. 50 is our Kali, 70 is our Server 2012 machine, and we just gotta let it keep running. So the scanning does take a little while, so you do have to be patient, but it will find what ports are open, what protocols are open, the states they're in, what are some of the names of the features that are going on there. So again, let it run and be patient. Okay, it took several minutes, but it finally finished. And we're going to see that if we click on any of our hosts, we get additional tabs up here. So you'll notice that on our server 2012 machine, it also did a YouTube scan as well. So we can do some checking by just going through each of the tabs to see what we information we can see. The information tab is going to yield us what ports are open, what operating system, or operating systems, uh, its addressing, its MAC address. We have an area for notes, and then we get into the specific ports. And we can keep scrolling through it to seeing exactly what we can find. Go back to services. One of the nice things with Sparta is it does integrate a lot of things. Like if we click on tools, you'll see that we have tools already here to help us. So if we actually want to target one of our machines, we have that option. And here's some of the options that we have. So we could actually look through some of the tools to try to run them. But most of the time, you're going to see that the target is not vulnerable. It just, this is still a beta, but it still has some useful information. One of the last things I wanted to point out was this brute force option. It has the ability to try to brute force passwords. And all you have to do is provide it the address, the port, and you can do lists. This uses Hydra for password, uh, brute force password cracking. And so this is a brief overview of our Sparta. Thank you.